Hello, uh, welcome to the Run Testers. This is our first run review of the Adidas Takumi Sen 8. Happy New Year and uh, welcome to a bizarrely sunny and warm London where I'm heading out to do my first run in the Adidas Takumi Sen 8. Uh, very excited to use this shoe, I won't lie. Um, it's one I've been really, really looking forward to testing and I've got a really chunky workout to give it a go today. So I'm gonna be doing a little warm up then 16 times 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So looking to get down kind of to just below 5K pace, something like 3, 3.05 per K in those reps. Have a little three minute break and then into 10K at 3.35 per K. Uh, so, which is kind of a little bit slower than marathon pace. One on form, I'm not sure if I'm on form right now, because we're gonna find out today. Um, it's a really good test for the shoe, I think. Nice range of paces, long workout, see how it holds up. Um, I, you know, I really like the look of it. I like the feel of it. Pretty excited to see how it runs. And I'm gonna try and throw in some sharp corners too, because one of the benefits of the lower stack it has should be that you can take corners at speed more easily. So, all right then, here we go. So I just finished the 60 intervals. Just catching my breath now for the 10K, got a couple of minutes. Uh, and the shoes are fantastic for that. I really expected they would be. Really lovely light pickup. I was running, I think about 0.33 of a K each rep, apart from one or two. Uh, so yeah, good pace for me, felt good, felt comfortable. Tired at the end of each one, but hopefully not too much because I've got the 10K now, but yeah. Shoes are great for that just because it's such a light pickup that they, you know, they really explode up on you. You know, you're losing your turnover towards the end of a rep easier to get them going again because they're so light to pick up and putting a lot of force into them on that kind of speed and can feel a bit of response there from the rods. I'll be interested to see if I feel so much when running at a slower pace now on the 10k at 335. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to it anyway. Right. Oh, okay, all done. Uh, that was really hard, way harder than I hoped it'd be, but it's great. You learn a lot about a shoe when you're really pushing that hard. Um, and there, yeah, there were a couple of times that I really wanted to just give up, and uh, I do feel like the shoe gives you a little bit back. Like, it's obviously designed for shortness and stuff. This took me up to around kind of 20k in the workout, and obviously the pace was more like marathon pace, but it did feel like it was helping. It feels, even though it's low drop, it does feel like it's got quite aggressive tip forward going on, which you know, like when you're kind of falling towards the end of the workout. Yeah, it's not, I don't feel, it doesn't feel as cushioned and smooth at those easy paces of the Adios Pro 2, but it doesn't really feel less quick. I think it's fair to say, like I held on fine at the end there. It's definitely a lot of protection there. Like, because of the way I run, uh, I heel strike and my foot comes down quite hard. I think I've got a slight hot spot under my forefoot at some points towards the end of it, but nothing really uncomfortable. Like I'd happily wear these for long runs, like half marathons. And yeah, like at the moment, I don't really see any reason why I wouldn't want to push a bit further to the marathon, but maybe the Adios Pro 2 would just be a better pick with the extra kind of comfort you get there. And the kind of wider base at the back when you're starting to, maybe your form starts to go a bit. But yeah, terrific, really enjoyed the workout, like ran, yeah, so pace was exactly where I wanted it on those 60s, nice and fast, the shoe felt great there. And then I did the 10K on kind of 35, 37, something like that. So pleased with that on a mild December's day, running around industrial estates, uh, mostly by myself. So yeah, really, really good first impression of the shoe. All right, back from the run now, let's talk about the design of the shoe. Um, so the a zero Takumi Sen 8 is obviously thought to be a lightweight racing shoe. Uh, it's got a slightly lower stack than things like the Adios Pro 2. It's 33 millimeters at the heel and 27 at the forefoot, and that gives it quite a low drop, obviously, of six millimeters. Although I will say on the run, that didn't feel that low to me, but I have been using a few low drop shoes for testing, and because we change shoes so much while testing it, I don't tend to notice drop as much as some people, it's fair to say. Um, it's very lightweight. Uh, this is 194 grams in my UK size nine, which is 6.8 ounces. Um, and it's pretty expensive. It's 170 pounds in the UK, 180 dollars in the US. So really, it's, you know, it's only 10 pounds cheaper than the Adios Pro 2. It's built to be, you know, a similarly impressive racing shoe, just geared more towards 5K to half marathon. Got really lightweight cellar mesh upper here, and there's no like real heel counter at all. It's all very flexible and loose. It's quite a nice fit. Um, I'd say it's definitely smaller and tighter than the Adios Pro 2 for me in the same size, but yeah, it's a really nice racing fit. Although it narrows up a little bit around the midfoot, I think it's still pretty spacious. I think I still go true to size. Midsole is all Lightstrike Pro, Adidas's top foam, you know, great stuff. 
And then you've got the energy rods, but they're kind of slightly thinner uh, and they're lighter than the ones on the Adios Pro 2. I think they're made of glass fiber rather than kind of carbon fiber. You can see them there. there's an extra cutout there in the midsole. As you can see, you've got the same kind of chunky cutout as on the Adios Pro 2, but then a little extra one there just again to save a little bit more weight by cutting out some foam. I didn't really have any stability issues today on the run. I will say that um, they, you know, a bit better around corners than very high stack shoes. I still say when doing dead turns and kind of sharp corners, you've got to be careful. They're still 33 millimeters. You know, that's kind of like the original Vaporfly 4%. They're still higher stack than the Takumi Sen of old. But yeah, they're a little bit more stable for sure. You can you can be a bit more aggressive into corners. But uh, I don't know, if you're imagining, you know, really smashing corners like you used to in a racing flat, I still don't really think they're quite there. Um, and then on the outside, you've got a really nice extended bit of continental rubber here for a really nice grip um, kind of around your toe off and you know kind of forfeit landings and then you've got yeah this kind of textile rubber running around this side of the shoe and then the back there um just gives some extra protection for other kind of foot strikes so very early verdict on the shoe uh, obviously we've got a lot more testing to do kieran also has the shoe so we're going to be giving it you know putting it for a lot of miles and try and get to a race in it if i can but early on it's, it's really lived up to what i hoped to be i was really excited about the shoe and um it's really impressed me today like it felt fantastic on those 60 second reps when I was kind of a bit more up onto my midfoot, forefoot, you know, pushing hard. Um, it really felt lightweight and a little bit propulsive and putting a lot of kind of force through those rods. You've got a lot back from them, I feel. Um, and I really think it's going to be a great kind of short distance racing shoe. And then I was, you know, it was better than I expected maybe on that 10k as well, kind of, you know, dropping back towards marathon pace, dropping back into my kind of my cruisy marathon gait where I do heel strike. I still felt it was a really nice transition there and I still think I was getting you know, some tip forward from the shoe, more than I expected because of, you know, the low drop. I didn't think I'd get such a nice feeling on that kind of slower pace stuff, but actually it felt really good. To me, it almost felt like it's in between the Adios Pro 1 and 2. Like you've got the nimbleness and the really nice lightweight pickup, which I felt with the Adios Pro 1, even though it wasn't really much lighter than the Adios Pro 2. And then you've got the lovely smooth rolling, you know, controlled pace of the Adios Pro 2, which I find amazing for like kind of half marathon distance and really long hard runs. Um, so at the moment, I'm absolutely loving it. And there's loads more to do in the shoe, but I do think there's a real winner here from Adidas. And I really like this new idea of these slightly lower stack super shoes because it's just great fun running in a shoe that weighs under 200 grams. Like when you're pushing hard, it, it just, it did, it does feel good. And when you're still getting a little bit of that kind of super shoe feel with a decent high stack and those kind of rods at the forefoot, does provide a little bit of everything in a lovely way. So yeah, can't wait to get out in the shoe again. So guys, that's our uh, first run review of the Takumi Sen 8. Have you run in the shoe? Let us know what you think of it, if so. Um, and yeah, we'll see you down the line for the full review. Please like, subscribe, and ring the little bell. See you later.